Hello and welcome back to SC Custom Designs. This is uh, part two of the recent video we started on making this sleigh bed uh, backboard. And uh, the lovely one is continuing. She'll fill you in. What are we doing now? Okay, so we took our pattern upstairs and found out that we need to shorten it roughly about four inches. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making some adjustments that I want and deciding where I want to shorten it. So the first thing I want to do is widen the base a little bit to give it some more meat and stability. I like to use my French curve for that in sewing, and I'm sure it'll work fine for this too. So what I want to do is take this curve down just a bit. Bring it right down to the point. No, I don't like that. Let's fix that. So you're literally doing things on the fly. Well, yeah, sure. Because we can customize it any way we want. Yeah, I like that much better. that off. Yeah, that's got a little more meat and it's a little bit straighter. I'm going to tidy this edge up too. I'm just going to take this and trace it the way I want it to be. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Now I think where I want to shorten it is in through this area here. And I had a pretty interesting idea. The footboard pattern has a similar top and neck, but much shorter, and the head of it is wider, which will make it easier to transition into the flat shelf I'm looking for. Where's that flat shelf going? At the very top for um, the clock radio and things like that. I see. So That's interesting. Have... Really altering the pattern. I like it. So if I lay this out, if I'm going to shorten it four inches, one one, two, three, four. I'm looking for something about here. Um, so what I can do, yep, look at what I can do. I can line it up with this pattern. And it lines up really nicely. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take the rest off from the bottom, I think. Because we do have room down there to play with it. Since our bed is a platform bed. So what I'm going to do is take this and redraw this. So that's what we want through there. And we want to take the other half an inch off the bottom. So I'm just going to grab another ruler. actually just an eighth of an inch over half an inch, so I'm going to do that. Thanks, Dan. You, you have no idea how hard it is for me to watch. I keep <laughs> wanting to help her, but uh, she's quite capable. <laughs> so now what I want to do is um, take this top piece. Now, if this is the floor, and that's straight up, then it's going to line up perpendicularly with my lines so I can tell how my shelf should be. We can test that out. Now, I'm going to shut the light off one more minute and just check the grid out on it to see if I'm perpendicular. And that line is there. 
I'm lining this edge up with the straight edge of the grid just to see where the top is going to be. So we know that this through here is what we're aiming for, is something like that. So I can turn the light back on. Now I'm going to play with it a little bit. Get what I want. All right, we're getting progress here on our sleigh bed headboard. And uh, it's great to uh, have more talent on the project. I can just take this line I drew and line my quarter inch up so I can raise it up that quarter inch and finish it out this way. Are you ever tempted to eat these? <laughs> no. Boy, that looks good. I thought it would be making me hungry all the time, but I'm fine without it. It's good. It doesn't make me have to go eat. Yeah. So I believe you made these, correct? Oh yeah, they're pattern weights. Um, I made them, well, before I had a projector, you'd have to hold down the pattern, and the easiest way to cut out your pattern is with a rotary cutter. And so having them weighed down makes it easy for everything to stay in place while you're cutting it. So these are made out of FIMO dough and three quarter inch, um, those big fat heavy washers. I stack two or three of them, wrap it in the FIMO dough, decorate it and bake it. And it's a nice weight. It's, um, it's not light. It's not going to slide around easily. It, it really does a good job. And this is similarly the same thing except I crocheted around it with crochet cotton. Now, word on the street is, and shh, you may be having your own channel at some point. Yeah, that's something in the making. We are excited <laughs> about that. I think I am very, very excited about that. So that'll be fun. Hence the other part of SE Custom Designs. I'm the S, she's the C. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking this through how I want it. You know, sometimes you just don't know what you want. you got to experiment a bit. I want more tools on my wood shop. <laughs> that I'm certain of. So that might be what we need. We might oh, need to it's coming it a little to, bit. into shape now. I see. That's that top shelf. Yeah, I'm going to cut were it mentioning. out. I'm going to cut the top part out, especially. Okay. And what I did, you'll see, as I'm cutting it, and it makes more sense is that I rounded the top over so that the wood shelf can come straight out and then it can be attached to the back side doing things you know how to do and I don't. I know how to smack wood with hammers. So yeah, that's pretty much the idea. And we can make this prettier if we want, like we can even just round it if we want, just for aesthetics, or who's going to really care? That'll be a lot of fun to cut on the bandsaw. By the way, that's that's how I'm going to be doing this. I don't know. You could probably use a skill saw, but it depends on how thick the wood is. The wood is is right here. I'm going to be cutting it out of a uh, two by twelve. And uh, one thing you want to do in your uh, when you when you buy lumber is keep it in a the best humidity for the time of year in it's winter time now so it's very dry and i went ahead and marked two dates here and between the 29th and the 31st this crack went and you can see that it stopped and that's kind of what i was looking for same thing down here and it stopped so i was very thankful for that Back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. uh, and we get to go try it out. Cool. And see how it works. All right, so this is where we'll stop. Uh, this is uh, uh, mini mini series part number number two. And uh, continue watching. Do our user goodbye. Shalom uvachat. Kotsin. Saijin. Masalami. Take care. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing and give us thumbs up. And don't forget that giveaway we're doing by March 2nd. We're going to. Go ahead and uh, 
give away that uh, dovetail jig. Okay, bye-bye now.